Hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm Abigail, the ultimate guru, and with me, as always, is my co-host, the Kanye of comedy, the world's only comedian, DJ Beerbelly Brighton Proctor. What's up? What's up? What's going on? What's going on? Here to helpers. Here to helpies. Go to help us. I hate Mark Marin. Okay. Well, I'm glad we moved on to that. All of that for the name of our listeners, because the other one that was horrible. You oh, don't have smartest. to worry about a thing because we are here. We are here to help. We are here to help you. And soon, soon, it is time. Okay, the time is coming for the alien invasion. It's not aliens. The aliens are coming on the day of the eclipse. Yeah, it's Monday. And if you want to hear about that stuff, guess what? Maybe you should subscribe to the goddamn Patreon. Because we're going to talk about it. Yeah, we're going to talk about that on the on the damn Patreon. But Out on the day. All, Very yeah. important information that Epis- you need. Episode may never come out. <laughs> we could all die. <laughs> See, are you done with your intro thing? or Because yeah. I've got... We're, we're here to help you. This this fucking this was insane. Okay. <laughs> uh somebody the person that I complained about that bought the Patreon subscription for a dollar and then canceled it right away. They did an exit survey. And thank you very much for that, by the way. That was very, <laughs> very nice. But uh feedback. I'm sorry, I thought this was the Jake Johnson podcast. I'm sure you're great. <laughs> and I was like, who the fuck is Jake Johnson? So I had to Google him. Not me. Yeah, I'm not Jake Johnson. I had to Google him. And it turns out he's that douchebag from New Girl. And he and some guy named Gareth Reynolds, gay name. Mm. I'm really gay ass Reynolds, right? I don't even want to talk to someone named Gareth. I, I would just I would just be giggling. Like I wouldn't be able to look at him without laughing. Was he fucking Gareth these nuts, that fucking dweeb? He what he's Gareth his Johnson. They're gay. That's what they are. They stink. But yeah. Maybe their podcast is good. It's probably better than ours. But he has a podcast no. called We're Here to Help Podcast. And that, it's fucking on site. If I ever see that douchebag from New Girl, which, by the way, I'll be honest, I haven't watched it in a long time. The first two seasons, I, I enjoyed. But fuck him. Fuck him. Honestly. Stealing our shtick, okay? And he's not the only one either, okay? And, it, like, yeah, they stole the name. Sure. But other people started podcasts after us okay that go to am i the asshole and other reddit subreddits well to to just talk about it and answer the questions and and give people advice and things it's very upsetting to me that, that is they're all just stealing our ideas that and is then bullshit. there's that abby bitch I, I i was gonna say thank god you didn't make up dear <laughs> abby is there something i should know i did that oh, okay. bitch stole it really from yes. the 1800s or whatever. She stole my bit. Yeah. you. If you, I ever you see confirm- her, it's on site. You are confirming that you are older than her now, though, which makes me right. No, I started it <laughs> retroactively. Okay, she looked into the future and she knew that there was this good idea coming. It's like how the guys in Hot Tub Time Machine, the guy like invested in Google. It was like that. Was it like that? I think that maybe... It's like that. <laughs> Maybe you stole. What are you talking about? You stole. I am the I don't know original what you're talking mind. About. I... I am the only original mind here. It is me. <laughs> I carry the show on my back every week. That's not what our listeners are saying. In fact, in fact, even Erica, your woman, even says your woman says that I carry the show. One of many in my harem. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm Muslim now. Rest, Talk about rest that, men. ortho fags. Tweet about it, dorks with the weird fucking emoji. I don't even know what that cross is about. I think that Jesus didn't have that many fucking arms and legs. Brian thinks he's getting his uh, seventy-two virgins, you know. But really, it's like it's on a technicality because men don't have hymens in the first place. Oh, you mean heaven? <laughs> 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 that would rule <laughs> a Muslim guy gets up there and he's like no here you go she's a bunch of boys you know he'd do it 
you know, do they, it. They like boys. They dress them up. I don't know if that's even true. I do know the terrorists They'd be happy are... if it's goats. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I don't think they're really as hard to please as they like to let on, you know? Oh, look, there's some ankle over there. That, Got a rape. That's like, true. Dude. Well, no, I mean, that's relatable. Everybody's like that. <laughs> Is that... That's what I do. Just was at the, the the gym the other day. I saw a guy who's wearing he's wearing shorts. <laughs> Gotta get him, dude. Better show up with the. I like the Muslims that like they go the extra mile. They don't even have like the eye slits. They've got like the fucking looks like they're. It's in the like just cloth. Yeah, it's crazy. It's so, I, like I guess they don't need to see. It's not like they're fucking driving or anything. Like, There's no reason they... for them to see. Like yeah. they can't leave the house without a chaperone. Like they don't have anywhere to be or anywhere to go. They're supposed to just be home. I mean, and they don't wear those at home, so you know. No, they don't have to wear it, and the... unless they have company. Yeah, yeah. Then, but... So, like, if it's your family or other women, you don't even have to wear it. Do you think there's ever been an accidental wife swap situation or, like, luggage okay. at an airport where they're just, like, they just take the wrong <laughs> one home? They're not allowed to say anything. That's, that's happening constantly. <laughs> that is happening constantly. And I bet they don't even notice when they get home. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you just send them into the room with the ten other ones. You just, I don't know. <laughs> Damn. Muslim guys rule. It's a woman. <laughs> That's, damn, Muslim guys fucking rule. I'm going to convert. I'm going to switch. I can't say that now like on account of the like Iran situation and shit. But, you know, people were mad. I, apparently some, some Poles died too. Israel Polish bombed. people? Yeah, I don't know what they're doing there. People? Yeah, it's, it's, Nobody can see the quotes. <laughs> well, and the, po the Poles are cool. You know, I like Polak jokes. Yo, uh, what, do you, what do you call seven Polacks in, a, in an Iranian embassy? I was watching a dead. Uh, live. You call them dead. Oh, <laughs> I don't okay, know. I must have missed Anything this. about this situation. Oh, yeah, they, they was like, well, there's a war going on. Several of them. There's a lot of wars going on. There's a, there's a lot going on right now. And it's funny. You would think that you would hear more about it. Like, they beat the drum quite a bit at first, and then they just try to, like, once there's enough money being passed around, they're just like, okay, we're not going to bring it up right now. Okay. I don't know. What do you mean you'd hear more about it? I definitely have heard about it, and I told you. I haven't heard of that at all. Oh, well, it happened, and just pretty recently, uh, but re not, so, not so recently that it was today. So, <laughs> I don't know. Check Maybe your phone just once retarded. in a while. Well, I have not been on my phone much. There you go. At all this week i've been slacking everybody's gonna be so mad at me i'm not putting out wonderful tweets although i'm scared to tweet anymore good because like it just like it's going I've... all over the place i spent years shadow banned so now that i'm not i'm just like oh, oh it's a thousand likes okay like people who have no idea who i am or what i'm doing here are taking me very seriously and it's good. hilarious but i hope they get mad at you and maybe you listen oh, to the goddamn mad. show I, uh, yeah, they, no, I hope they do. I'm just going to start, s if I had more clips to spam at them, that's what I need. I need clips. If anyone's listening wants to send me clips, that would be great. From the show, from here to help. Yeah. To be clear. <laughs> just. No. Nobody's going to help me. Not at all. I'm not even going to help you. I'm, I'm, I don't do that. No, nobody helps me. That's yeah. the problem. That's the problem we have here. I, I start a podcast literally begging for help. Okay? Is that what <laughs> like, it is? if you're not getting the coded messages, mm -hmm. nobody is helping me. Okay, let's get into our Dear Abby. So I posted on Twitter like I always do. Is that what I sound like? Is that good, good content? You think that's going to sound good? For the show, do you think that's gonna be? <laughs> oh my god! So I posted asking for dear Abby's as I do every week, every week, and everyone is um, is just asking about my husband because apparently he's the cool guy. Yeah, but why? What do they know? Uh, 
because he used to be on Twitter for like six months or something. And ever since he left, anytime I mentioned that I have a husband, everyone's like, oh, I miss him. He was so cool. Tell him I said hi. And I get like DMs of people saying like, hey, could you let him know I said hi? And I'm like, just this is his Discord. Just go talk to him. Like, leave me alone. Like, he's like a mythical figure. I don't know why. <laughs> So I thought that I would... The bald white dwarf <laughs> of the mountains. That's my husband, the bald white dwarf of the mountains. And everybody misses him so much, so I thought that I would give everyone an update. Um, He's dead. He no longer lives. He's, He's no longer, no with, longer us. with us. No, he's fine. Uh, he's uh, He no longer has a beard. That's a thing. Um, I made him shave his beard off. And I understand that uh, some people are going to say that I'm going to hell for that and that I have damned his soul and the souls of all of our children and our dog. Wait, um, do, because just, just he's because an orthodox I, man without a beard. Just because I say that doesn't mean that other people are saying that, right? They can't <laughs> no, possibly you'd be, believe that. You'd be surprised. <laughs> you, when you say it, you're just being an asshole. <laughs> yeah. It was a dick move, though. Yeah. Well, because I don't like beards. I never liked beards. Never. Then why I didn't are want you him married? to have a beard when then, we were young. Then, then why are and you married to a man if you don't like beards? Oh, because I being the beard and having the <laughs> it's two different things. I think it works for lesbians too. They can have a beard. What do they call what do they call that? I don't I I am not going to say it. <laughs> I'm know. not going to say my you know. immediate I don't know if that's a thing, but that's what I would say. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. I just think that you know yeah. the correct term because you're a lesbian. Have one? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Anyway, he's doing well. Um, he's doing well. He's doing fine. I'm making him watch Stargate SG One with me by telling him that it's like uh, like Star Trek. So wait, hold on. You made him change his appearance and are forcing him to watch hours upon hours of videos? That doesn't sound like yes. he's doing good at all. He's doing good. <laughs> uh, sometimes I do let him out of the cage. Occasionally. Just for some exercise. Because, you know, you don't want him losing too much of the muscle definition. You know what I mean? You lock a guy in a cage 24-7, like he's going to lose the muscle definition. It's not good. I don't know what goes on in that fucking household. and I, I, I don't care to know. I go to a tanning bed because he's looking a little pale from the cage. If either one of you touched a tanning bed, you'd fucking explode. Yeah, we're pretty pale people, honestly. No I don't think that we chance. would survive it, honestly. Uh, but he's not coming back for to Twitter because he uh, left because you all annoyed the hell out of him. And he didn't want to deal with you anymore. And now I'm the one that annoys the hell out of him. Yeah, that's the kind of thing. Is <laughs> you can delete a Twitter, but he's not changing his phone number. You know what I mean? He's fucked now. <laughs> and it's all my fault. Well, I'm glad that I'm glad that we've done 13 minutes of the show now. Um, yeah. You know, if there was any new listeners, uh, they turned off immediately. No, they're fine. They love us. It's great. Uh, Patty Why wants would you to people know love us? Um, if he can. Have money. No, Patty. Yeah, you can have money. Not for me. Well, I told him I'd give him five bucks to record a podcast with me. Oh, I, I wouldn't even do that. Uh, but you can have money. You can get money like everybody else. Mm -hmm. Get go a job. Get a goddamn job and quit get being a, a god job. fucking ingrate. Lazy fucking millennials. I'm tired of that generation. <sighs> I agree. All right, uh, moving on to our Discord, dear Abby's, dear Abby. How do I survive that was a it. week in it? That was a no, guy yeah. saying, "Can I have money?" Well, he said, uh, "What will you pay me to listen to your podcast?" I will pay you negative five dollars a month. You Perfect. subscribe. Actually, uh, you know what? If you subscribe to my Patreon for five dollars a month, I will teach you how to get people to subscribe to your Patreon for five dollars a month. <laughs> That is a bargain. That is a deal. Like an OnlyFans pimp. Bryden has the business. I would Acumen fucking to help love you. that. I would love that. I would love to be an OnlyFans pimp. It'd be sweet. 
God, that'd be cool. Like, who's that? You don't get uh, to who, smack them around, though. Yeah, that's even better. You don't have to even fucking touch their disgusting STD riddled asses. Oh. You just digitally are a pimp. It's amazing. Like that. Uh, who's that guy? Jack Dor Jack Doherty. Mm. He's like mm -hmm. this little shithead. He's like got a shape of uh, his head shaped weird and like um, he's got a shape of a head. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's an oddly shaped head. <laughs> but uh, like he goes around. He's like a well, live streamer guy, and he like goes around bothering people. He has a big black bodyguard and all that shit. But oh. he turned that into just like hanging out with OnlyFans girls and promoting their OnlyFans, and he gets a commission oh, on that that's shit. A big bracket right now just it's awesome. like bringing girls on to argue with them and then you get a percentage back or because they're getting like a hundred subscribers that day it's amazing it's amazing i would be so good at that if i like was smart enough to get in on that like Earlier. many many years ago yeah now i'm just now i'd look weird it would be like hey do you want to come on my podcast and we could talk about your your how you suck and yeah. then, you know. No, I, I remember, you remember when internet blood sports was the thing? Yeah. And people were going on a couple big shows to fight all the time and big debates happening with big names. I remember there were several very sad cases of people with like 300 follower Twitter accounts starting YouTube channels and going, I'm doing blood sports too now. I'm going to be the moderator. Who wants to argue on my show? And like, if anyone ever got bullied to go on there, it's like, you've never heard of this person before. They also have like a hundred followers on Twitter. Yeah. But I mean, that's it was just sad. Well, all that really was, I don't think it's sad. I mean, making stuff's never sad. Uh, I, but like, I mean, if you get it is when the point is that you're trying to cash in on a trend, like the point eh. is not the art for these people, but it was, they're trying to start a show because the Jerry Springer shows were popular. I don't know. I mean, I get where you're coming from, but I also get where some guy in fucking 2016 was coming from and being like, all right, we've got a Twitter circle. Everybody fight communism, good or bad, or what if the it fuck had, ever. If it worked for them, it's not sad. You know what I mean? Well, what, define work. If they got an audience for it or had fun with it or whatever. I guess if the point is to cash in, then yeah, you're right. But if the point is I to like make I don't think that shit, there's any other point to that, honestly. I don't know. All blood sports really were were just like um, super aggressive fucking debates, which is like the gayest debating was, style. And it wasn't even... I don't like debate debates. Where there's like rules and you have time and like rebuttal, you know, and all this stuff. And you have closing statements and opening. Like, I hate that. Every oh, time I've heard them it. try to do that, it's very obnoxious to me. Like, we're, this is <laughs> for entertainment. Like, you're, you, you should be yelling at each other to some extent. What I don't like is that I you will be Fox listening News to brand, one. Dude. That stinks. No, I like it when they, no. they, they, they fucking have a little bit of fucking time and then discussion and then closing arguments and shit like that like that's great because then i can hear what the fuck they're saying well what i was gonna say is there should be like a middle ground because also when they're just yelling at each other um no one's making good points like the guy that you know is correct and you agree with 100 percent, his argument 100 percent dog shit he's making all the wrong points the only reason he's not being refuted properly is because the other guy is so focused on calling him a gay lord or something or telling him to eat shit or saying that he has a pakistani wife or whatever the hell they were doing and it's like neither of you are making points at all like you can make this entertaining but not boring and make good arguments but no one ever did yeah that's why that died out I'd be sitting there listening. Oh my god, there's this one guy who made an argument, and I was like, I could refute that in like ten different ways right now, just off the top of my head. Like, what are you doing? That's like, I agree point with the point that. you're making, but the way you like your analogy is stupid. Like, yeah, but that's how like the majority of people um, I've found like listen to fucking podcasts like that, the serious podcasts. They're like, mm -hmm. well, this is what I would like to say. Okay, then leave it in the comments, and then I, whatever. Any 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 podcast. That's not my, what I'm currently doing is certified gay and stinks and is also made of dog shit. So I agree. You're lucky. you're lucky because this is, <laughs> you're not doing a dog shit doo doo baby brain to podcast. Doing oh, high level comedy.
That's this is very high level of what we're doing right now. Um, yeah, I farted. Your... I farted earlier before we started recording, and I was like, "Damn, I should have saved that one for the show." Should have saved it. So it's a good one. Well, yeah, it was like here to help gag. It was like one of those fucking. You know, the one is in the mornings, like are like deep. Okay, farts. Uh, no, no, those are bad, dude. Okay, look, I don't, I don't want to give the game away that women also do these things. Oh, but, I know, dude. The morning I got ones are this morning loud. by my son. Uh -oh. He was like. Mommy, did you just fart? And I said, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> so you, so you, you, you said, I don't want to talk about it. Stormed out of the room. And then now he's going to think that farts are bad and you shouldn't do them for the rest of his life. That's cool. He's going to grow up normal. He runs in the toilet looking for food and he's scared of farts. This, is, this guy's not moving to Germany and going to those clubs at all. No. No. All right, dear Abby, how do I survive a week in Atlanta, Georgia? You don't. You will not survive. I promise you, you will not survive if you go there. Not if you're going there during the eclipse. Well, I um I don't know the good or bad places in Georgia, uh, Atlanta, but um you probably don't want to be out and about too much at nighttime. I mean, uh, like. You can go and party in Georgia or Atlanta and be fine. Uh, but I don't know. Ask around. Find out like where you're supposed to be. It's just like any other city. But uh, there's definitely some places <laughs> I'm sure you shouldn't go. You should be very careful in Atlanta. Georgia. Yeah. Uh, two morphs would like me to uh, give our usual little thing uh, most important is to not believe the people of georgia when they claim abby or i committed any war crimes in that state they have no legally admissible proof and he is correct about that statement I'm calling the cops this show's gay move on okay i'm sorry we're having a rough time we're having a rough time today because i'm about to fall asleep you should um, fall upon let's... my sword i will kill uh... you Look, you're doing a... That made everything much worse, what you just did. What? I, I'm a knight. I'm a knight in Satan's service. Okay, that, are uh, you making fun of well, me right I now? Roll all night. <laughs> I party every day. I showed this teenage boy at church. Uh, he's, a, he's a kid of a friend of mine. Uh, a, a thing, a project I had worked on, and it, it is kind of critical of the Federal Reserve and the federal government a little bit. And now every time he sees me at church, he comes over to me and makes like a dumb guy voice, you know, like a joking dumb guy voice and says like, oh, screw the government. Oh, like Federal Reserve sucks. They're like Satan. Oh, just like in my ear. And <laughs> It's like, and he, he, he doesn't do this and like walk away. He like does it and sits next to me and like. Well, is this a conversation? Like, what is it? I don't I don't know what your argument was, but I think that they put something in the vaccines that made people not question the Federal Reserve, and I stand by that. So. There you go. That kid sounds like a little bitch and a fag. And if he I ever is. see him, I'm going to fucking <laughs> kick him across the room like a football. Oh, my God. Okay. Fuck that little queer. Oh, my God. Um, I... No comment. <clears throat> We're going to move on to our Reddit advice segment. Is everybody ready for this? Are you ready for this? No, I don't. I'm different. Okay. Do 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 do. From R slash, am I wrong? Am I wrong for canceling my order at this coffee shop? I, I was at this coffee shop, and the cashier was really pretty. She had a cool anime tattoo. Also, I was gonna get some coffee and a. She Does did not. Anime tattoo? She did not have a cool anime tattoo. She, she had a dumb had an anime tattoo. Yeah, and on top of that, that was a trans buddy. Um, yeah, yeah. I was gonna get some <laughs> coffee and a donut, and I said, "Hey, I like your tattoo. What's your care? Your favorite character from that anime?" She kept a straight face, and she just said, "How can I help you?" Oof, oof. They just say, "Okay," and then order your copy and that's it that 
that would be the smart thing to do. That would be the only way to handle this situation, I would think, at that point. Yeah, get uh, it to I go. Said... Get, you gotta get it to go too. <laughs> or just like go and sit somewhere else, not let these types of things get to you. Yeah. But just oh my gosh. like, oh, you're like, okay. Cause that that'll happen to you, fellas. If you're out there in that fucking world, it's it's a rough world out there. That'll happen to you. I've had it happen to me. Yeah. Uh, you know. She's not like I mean, and also she's working. Right. Yeah. Well, that's the like, thing. Are there people hit... behind you? Yeah. It's so rare you want to hit on a girl at work. You know, like you, you, you it's if she gives you the 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 moves or whatever, that's when it's fine. But like, dude. Half the time it's their fucking job to be nice to you. Yeah, it's just not a good thing. Yeah. You fucked up so bad. This guy is so ugly that. Oh, yeah. Or like maybe this girl, like she was like, actually, I got that tattooed on me by force during a previous relationship. <laughs> like I to rape. Yeah. Like, I mean, who the fuck knows? But if that is what happens, you order your coffee and then you just don't. That's the end of it. It's a brick wall right there. I agree. I then said I really like anime too, and I just wanted to see what shows and characters like. Oh Jesus, no, buddy, you don't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're we'll you're out. That. She still showed no emotions and was like, "Sir, do you want anything?" Oh Jesus, she's also kind of a bitch, but and not bad and not great at her job, but. He probably was a bit of a spaz. I mean, I, I'm just imagining an average yeah, anime the, fan. The problem here is that I hate both of these people. Oh, yeah. I mean, like we, it is you are literally being paid. Do you think you're getting paid to use the freaking cash register? You're being paid to be nice to people. OK, yeah. like the cash register thing, like the monkey could do it. A robot could do it like they could just like use a freaking kiosk at that point like you're paid to be like a human being giving a personal touch and smiling and talking to people that is why you have this job like even if i worked at walmart yes i only have the one job to reference before you make fun of me for it right because i only have the one job but like yeah that's what the job was like scanning groceries great you have to smile and make conversation that is your job right I mean, well, and also it's just like a, uh, both of these people seem so, uh, this guy, I guarantee it didn't go down the way he's saying, but like the way he's coming off in the way that his retelling of it, mm -hmm. he sounds like a person just dead eyeing somebody is, it's not a thing. I went to the fucking dentist, uh, clean bell yeah. of health, by the way. Um, Ooh. they, they did, a, a, a lady came in because right, it was just a cleaning. So like the actual dentist wasn't mm -hmm. there. You know, comes in. She's like, oh, okay, how are your teeth been? I go, I've got most of them. You know, gets a chuckle, fake or not. Mm -hmm. uh, saw my, she was like, oh, you've got a Heisenberg tattoo. And I was like, oh, yeah. This is nine in the morning, by the way. I want none of this. But uh, and I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and she was like, oh, man, that's a great show. I'm on my third time watching it right now. And I'm like, oh, yeah, it is a really good one. Well, I want none of this. But she's doing her well, no, it... job as a person. And as a, you know, like dental cleaner, tooth cleaner, whatever the fuck, you know, the thing, dental, what, dental assistant? Is that what they are? Yeah. I don't know. But, uh, and no, then I'm a hygienist, hygienist, dental hygienist. And then I'm doing my job as a guy to not just be like, shut up, bitch. It's nine in the morning. There are, there are rules to society, damn it. And if yeah. somebody asks about your tattoo, you just give a quick explanation. What the fuck yeah. ever. I like that's. That's kind of the rules. Like, if you got tattoos, people are going to ask about them. Uh, you know. So, these both these people are pretty yeah. bad. I mean, and I have been this guy. Like, okay, the problem with this guy is that he's hitting on her. Yeah, yeah. Because like, sure it's a male-female thing. Even if he's not hitting on her, he's hitting on her. Like, the assumption is you're, you're hitting on her. Like, why Which else I, are you doing this? But I, I've experienced this. And not just, like, no emotion, but, like, bitchy face and bitchy tone from me saying like oh it's pretty cold out there haha -ha, when i came in to a gas station and like that pissed me off for like hours i was like why couldn't that bitch have just like been polite like i don't need a big smile and a, oh ha 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 i just need you to not act like i just spit in your face like what the hell is wrong with you i i mean i rarely run into that but you know it's probably because i'm so cool um oh yeah 
it <laughs> might be that, but I mean, it could also be because I bet I didn't say it the way that this guy said it. Oh yeah. You know, he's probably like staring right at her tits. So like, he didn't say where the anime character tattoo was, did he? Oh he yeah. Said, <laughs> right no, on her no, tits. he didn't. That would be good. It could have been a chess piece, you know, which even still you can make reference to it, but I don't know. Both these people are, are, they just seem not great. I don't like them, but he should have stopped, which gives you the, he should have stopped. Yeah. Just, She's doing a bad job. Whatever. Move on with your day. Yeah. She's not being rude. Write a Yelp review and be like, um, they do heroin in the fucking bathrooms. Like just do that. Well, and then he, he says, I just said, Actually, I did, but you made me change my mind. Bye. And I walked away. I didn't want coffee anymore after that. Nice. I was trying to be nice and get to know her, and she was acting like that. There you go. There you go. That's And get to know her. He was hitting on her for sure. And get to know Why are you trying to get to know the cashier at the you fucking just, coffee You went there store? for coffee. Why are you leaving without coffee? Like, you're an absolute freak. I, yeah, you didn't go in there to get a girl. You went in there to purchase coffee. Just get coffee. Yeah, just get the coffee, get it to go, and then even maybe say something rude on the way out. Be like, hey. Sure. Hope your fucking day gets better, bitch. And then don't go there again. Or if it's a yeah. place you go normally, just be like, hey. I hope your day gets, uh, you know, <laughs> hope your day gets better. Or if you want to be a real fucking son of a bitch. This one I didn't make up, but I, I say it a lot. Because uh, back in L.A., there was just a random fucking lady who I don't even know why she was mad at the bus driver. But I was riding the bus. Before she gets off, uh, she goes, hey, Mr. Bus Driver, hope you have a fucked up day. And then, <laughs> I say that one a lot to people I get mad That's at. Funny. Hope you have a fucked up day. I, say that. Like, you know, but don't actually, uh, actually, madam, I don't think that I will have any caffeinated water today because of your attitude you're a fan yeah, actually i did but you made me change my mind it's yeah like that's such you're like a 12 year old boy that's 12 year old boys you, aren't even that bright they just kick him in the shins and run away that's fair dude no that guy sucks but i it makes me wonder what really was her reaction then if he's like this far removed from fucking reality yeah she probably smiled yeah it would just not a, you think about it if you're writing a story where you're angry at the person from your perspective, it's not going to be like w as flattering for the other person as reality is. And he has said nothing wrong about her except that she showed no emotion and asked for his order. Yeah, what's so like, she probably was super nice. It was probably, it was right? Li it was <laughs> literally doing customer service voice. I'll bet it was just fucking busy. Yeah. And then that that's what I, I like. I mean, I'm picturing this guy 350 fucking pounds plus with a fedora and a katana. But that's just me. I mean, there's a good chance that. Uh, but I, there's a good chance she's a fucking cunt. Like, I would almost guarantee that an anime tattooed woman who's a cashier at a coffee shop is a complete bitch and not somebody that I want to fucking talk to. But yeah. it's different for me versus, I guess, other people. It's a cold world out there. Ab cool. Dude, Abby, it's a cold world out there. We got people, and we've been with them forever. It's a cold fucking world out there. So I understand the frustration, but you got to know when to quit. Yeah, and that just doesn't solve your problems. Like, no. I don't... Doing there's all... chemistry, there's chemistry. Like, pissing yourself off doesn't help anyone or anything. Well, I, how many times do I have to say this on this fucking show? Mm -hmm. Not that this fucking nerd's going to hear it. Um, it's just a numbers game. Just mm -hmm. try that at every coffee shop on your block with all the baristas and don't be weird. And yeah. there's a good chance that one of them at least is going to fucking be nice to you and you can start to develop rapport with. Well, that's yeah, it. You get to fuck them right away. You People, I think guys like this a lot of their frustration is coming from just like investing before there should be any investment oh, yeah. at all like there should be no reason that this girl that you didn't know existed before that moment should upset you because she doesn't want to like be your friend or flirt with you like you don't know her this is not someone that you know 
who is like being rude to you and sliding you. This is no one. She right. did not exist to you a minute ago, but you take it personally and you act like this is you just like are being personally insulted because a girl does not want to talk to you. I could see like having your feelings hurt. Like nobody likes rejection. Believe me, everybody's right, made. Right, but you just gotta remember, this person does not know who you are. You didn't yeah. exist to them until a split second ago. Like, does not mean a thing to either of you, or it shouldn't. It shouldn't be rejected. But, uh, be, being rejected, I mean, it does. It does feel bad, you know. Cause you're like, ah, shit, you know, and you feel like a dork, and you're like, fuck. All right, I'm a failure, but. But th that should be it. That, that should it. be it. Is basically what I'm saying. Like and. He didn't make a complete fool of himself until he made a big to-do about this coffee shop he's not going to be able to yeah. go to anymore in case she's there because she definitely told everybody about the fucking dweeb. You should have just been like, okay, and ordered your coffee and left because then she might, in the back of her head, think, I was kind of a fucking cunt to that guy. And then you just ghost, you like, not ghost, you just uh, fucking stonewall her every time you talk to her. And then... I don't know. Maybe that's a good plan. Maybe she'll like, you know, be interested in you. Probably not. You fucking anime dork. Or at but still, least you could still go to that coffee shop. Yeah. Now you can't <laughs> go. You didn't make an ass of yourself. Now you yeah. can't go. Before asking about somebody's anime fucking, you know, tattoo, you weren't making a dick of yourself when you said, you've changed my mind upon this, madam. And then fucking she threw katana and fucking left. And then, you know, picked up all your magic, the gathering cards and shit. You fucking, now you can't go there. And you seem like a fag. You seem like a complete fucking fag. It's I. It, I don't. It's I don't. Uh, I don't understand who these people are that go home and write these Reddit rant things. It's because uh, they're not... people with no lives. I could tell you that. Like I have spent a lot of time on like mom forums because when I'm pregnant, I don't. I can't do shit. You know, like I, and you're exhausted. And, like, at a certain point, you move too much, you get contractions, basically. Or when you have a big baby, that seems to be the case, anyway. And so I sit there, and because I, no one's talking to me, I have nothing to do and nowhere to go. I've got no friends. I don't have family. Like, I'm sitting there looking at Baby Center and talking to people on Baby Center and posting minor annoyances onto Baby Center That's to different. get perspectives. That's... Like, it's the, no... That is different because I had a reason to be a shut-in. But what I'm saying is these people have literally nothing going on. That's that's what happens. I mean, I just... Like, I mean... If I'm, you have friends, that doesn't get posted to Reddit. I, I mean, I guess, yeah. I, I don't know. It's just a weird one. Because, like, I mean, I've never been, like, you know, super playboy, handsome man, all that fucking... You know, I... I just look like an older, fatter version of what I looked like. There's p pictures of me uh, when I was younger on much the internet. Much fatter. Yeah, much fatter. It's pretty bad. I gained like fucking 35 pounds since I was a hot boy. But I... <laughs> Not a man, a boy. I was a hot boy. I was a hot boy, man. I was in suits everywhere. I looked good. But, you know, now it's fine. Uh, I'm older. It's, you settle in. <laughs> settle into this fucking beer gut and... You know, it's no one of my toenails is weird. Uh, I it keeps splitting off. The pinky toe keeps splitting it, why off. Why are you the talking end. about that? Well, because I'm hoping somebody could tell me. Is it calcium I need or what? No, I don't. I don't know what it is. But okay, yes, no, okay. So one of them yes, splits on the calcium. end. It just splits. Okay. It's it's a whole, yeah, just, at the very biotin, end. biotin, collagen, calcium. You'll be good to go. Maybe that's, some iron. That's so much. To, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. They, unless they make a specific blend for right pinky toe. Female, tails. female vitamins. You need women's multivitamins. Because <sighs> I'm, I'm too fucking masculine. I got none of that pussy shit in me. Yeah, that's what I it think is. that's it. I don't have any of that fucking, I don't have any of that bitch in me. you could drink the blood of virgin women. Where are you going to find a virgin? It's 2024. <laughs> Yeah, you know, occultists are probably having a real rough time right? with their cute little sacrifices and rituals these days. Can't it's like, do it. man, used to be just went out in the village square. And 
They can't do I mean, that's probably why the world's gone to shit. They can't sacrifice anybody anymore. They were now right. The crops aren't growing. The yeah. rain isn't happening. There's droughts and wildfires all over California. The sun's being blotted out by the by the moon. Yeah, I, yeah. I think it makes sense. It, it's going to be darkness. This is a problem. We need to... I think we figured it out. I think so, actually. <laughs> I don't know. My, Not my, enough virgin sacrifices. My, yeah, my advice is virgin sacrifices and that, that guy <laughs> quit being a fucking dweeb because that just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I, I, I don't know. If I if I I, I could I, I couldn't count on all of my fingers and, and toes, even the one with the weird fucking the end it just it splits off it just grows like that uh how many times you need to just take the supplements get like a a one a day women's multivitamin and take it every day what there's no estrogen or hormones in it it's just vitamins but do they make it in blue that way it's a boy's vitamin no it's pink I can't do it then. It's got to be a boy's vitamin it's always gonna be maybe red you could probably get a red I do red red's pretty manly or you get the gummies. I do love gummies. It's all kinds of colors. I, that's I'm fine with that. I like gummies. Okay. I do you like gummies? I keep gummy bears in the fridge. It's a good idea. It's such a good idea. You got to try cold gummy bears, dude. It's the, the thing best. about gummy bears is they're so good to just eat like three or four of them. Yeah. And then be done. Like before yep. you get any stuck in your teeth. It's just yeah. Well, a they wonderful, don't... heavenly little treat. Also, and I've been doing this shit for years. I don't even know where it started. I just started putting them in the fridge. You don't get them stuck in your teeth if you get them in the fridge. Because they're cold. You're so smart sometimes. I know. I don't even know where this came from. I just started doing it. I'm sure I just put them in there drunk it's one time. Divine revelation. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm a fucking like an angel came I'm down. Fucking genius. And yes, I am angelic. And my presence is angelic. And I, I bring <laughs> upon the world to you, put your gummy bears in the fucking fridge. I get, I get whole big ass fucking pound packs of gummy bears and they sit in the door of the fridge. This is why you're so fat. No, it's, I, I haven't touched them in weeks. Oh, well, that's good at least. I mean, it's the drinking and the, the cheese. Dude. Cheese, cheese gets me. Okay, let's not talk about cheese. I have a story for everyone that I found on Twitter and we oh, can man. maybe help this woman. It's about the worst date she's ever been on. Okay, but... You have to cut this and tweet the clip to her. Okay. That sounds good. Okay, let's do it. Well, let's help this dumb whore. Clip going now. After I said she's a dumb whore. Okay, let's go. Okay, great. Well, I was, I was going to phrase this as if it just happened and we needed to advise her. But if I'm going to clip it, then I should just read it verbatim. Um, today marks the 17th anniversary of the worst date I've ever been on. Uh I was away at college, couldn't afford to go home for Easter, so a friend from one of my classes invited me to his house for dinner with a few mutual friends. Can we just point out real quick, couldn't, the whole, uh, couldn't afford to go home for Easter means that her parents don't love her enough to yes. pay for her to come home for Easter? Yeah, like, okay. if they wanted to do home, you would get home. <laughs> yeah. They're paying for you to go to this nice college far away from home. They can't pay for a plane ticket or train ticket back or something. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, sounds like your parents are either don't love you or are poor. So no one loves you, and so you have to go to this Easter with this other guy. God, I feel like I should be back on Twitter. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm back in there. His mom's, uh, so they go, uh, he picks me up, we drive an hour to his mom's house. When we get there, he tells me that all our friends couldn't make it. Oh, shit, dude, that's a baller move. That's such a smart move. Actually, none of our friends could make it, but, uh, oh, it's raining outside. Drink this. So it was just the two of us and his mother and grandma. Oh, dude, that's, hold on, that's, that's like, that's some degenerate shit. Never mind. That's the completely different scenario <laughs> that I was thinking. I thought he was, like, really cool. Nope, it's just, just him. No, and... this is not cool. I mean, I've seen movies like that. Yeah. That's porn. No. You mean porn. No. They're French films. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And his mother and grandma. Kind of awkward, but not terrible until we sit down for dinner and it is revealed to me that he told his family 
we are dating. Nice. Hell yeah. Okay, I'm back in. <laughs> I'm back in. It's a roller coaster. I'm back in. <laughs> Not even just dating, but engaged. Fuck yes. <laughs> Okay, okay. The, the thing is, this should have worked. Because... Honestly, woman... it's like a Hallmark movie. It's like a freaking Korean rom-com where they, like, half the ones I've watched, if for some wacky reason, they have to pretend that they're gonna get married, and then they fall in love pretending that they're in love. Like, hey, this hey, is a rom-com. This was his plan. It had to have been. But it's such a good fucking plan. It I, it's it's high risk, high reward. Obviously, it didn't work out. They lost everything. But uh, that this should have worked. What a nice meet cute they would have had. Honestly, <laughs> if, if his mom and grandma are nice, like it's like you can see how you would kind of fit into the family. It's a good little she's, test run. <laughs> she's showing his value of like, look, I'm family oriented. It's a good thing. I, dude, I love it. Not even just dating, but engaged. And his mom and grandma have planned our honeymoon. Holy, holy shit. Holy a shit. Honey, a honeymoon, I should add, that they planned to join us on because we would be going to Germany. Are these people Italian? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, they're going to Germany, I guess. G Italians go to Germany. One time they went to uh, Germany and everybody hated it. They yeah, were, nobody liked that They one. didn't like that the last time. Um, so that Japanese guy got the plane yeah. and it was a whole thing, <laughs> a whole fucking to do. So I see why this was a disaster. Uh, but I, it's a family oriented <laughs> guy. Very family oriented. You know, he's mm -hmm. got, he favors policies such as yeah. <laughs> we're encouraging family formation by giving you 25% off your mortgage per child. Mm. Okay. We're moving on. Esoteric. I'm sorry, I can't make that joke. Okay. <laughs> mm, where was I? Okay. He and I had never been on a date before. We hung out a dozen times working on projects, and we were friends, but not romantic. I didn't know he felt that way. But I was locked in. We were in <laughs> bumfuck Egypt, Utah, so I just couldn't walk back to my apartment. I rode out the evening. He took me on a silent car ride home. I was so shaken that it wasn't until the next day I realized that I didn't have my wallet. Nice, dude. Classic play. <laughs> Classic play. Yeah. Come to find out, he Ste stole it. <laughs> steal her wallet and or medication. Boom, she has to come back. So that I would have a reason to talk to him again. That <laughs> Damn, this he guy. Wasn't, he, it's like he read like a book on like how to trick women and he's just like i'm just gonna hit them all i'm hitting all of these chapters oh you, like, you, you be, uh, he's gonna whip out a fucking uh, uh a money clip instead of a wallet uh when they go to the go. bar you ta you, you're talking about the book that he read bryden's 10 tricks for tricking women into sex you have a yeah. all right everybody you can pick <laughs> up a copy it <laughs> it's on kindle now <laughs> Right, it's ten that book. Well, I, there's there's the the companion book to it of date rape. What is it really, and who, <laughs> what lawyers to talk to? <laughs> date rape or date right? <laughs> <laughs> Oddly enough, it's got like a whole bunch of religious passages in it. So... <laughs> you see, it says here in numbers that if she didn't if she didn't scream loud enough for five men to hear her, not rape. <laughs> She's your property now. Hasha <laughs> dudes. The best. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> this guy's oh. the greatest guy. I, the, the thing is, I want to know. Yeah, I want to know if he was ugly. Because this way, <laughs> if if Ryan young Ryan Reynolds did this to her, she she would be like, that's adorable. I mean, he's gotta be at least like average or below. He's probably yeah, nerdy. Probably. If he like because if this if his mom and grandma are not in on it, then he was like 
no, mom, I've got a girlfriend. Leave me alone. Kind wait, of, you know, like it was one of those situations. But wait, what if they were in on it? If they were in on it, then they're the best wingmen in the world. That would rule if your mom and, your mom and grandma are like, you're like, I really like this girl. They're like, we got you. And you Some shit my mom would do. <laughs> like, just just give her a crazy plan. And if you catch her on the right day with the right amount of drugs in her system, just like, yeah, that... we're going to do it. I'm like, <laughs> I mean, it seems like either way she did kind of dodge a goddamn bullet, though, because if the family's involved on that shit, they're, they got robes and candles somewhere, dude. <laughs> like Definitely, but robes and candles can be kind of hot. Weird. Oh. Weird. What types of robes are you thinking of? Because I'm thinking of, like, occult robes. Are you thinking of orgy yeah. robes? No. Okay, because there's different robes. It's like a, like a cloak, you know? No, like orgy a, robes and candles, I guess that could be kind of like hot. Like a hood? No, you know? that's... What? Like a hood? And it's like, uh, it's like black? The last thing that I want to see is just some pointy goddamn hood bobbing it's up and some, down like, on my... runes on the trim. That's fucking retarded. And there's bones on the floor. Here's So instead of rose petals, it's like, here's a bunch of bones. Bones. And then questionably, you, got, you know, questionable origin, but like it's got to at least sort of give off a human vibe. So then you just say, I mean, it would allow the man to give the deliver the best line ever is welcome to Bone Town. But, <laughs> you know, I just I, I can't do that. I don't want to fucking bones could get sharp. I don't want a fucking bone popping me in the ass or some shit like that. That's awful. You got how many problems. bones are you picturing being there? I just mean, like a, a few. Oh, I'm like picturing scattered, like, you know. Like, there's uh, got to be some in the middle. Well, I'm thinking as many rose petals in those movies. That oh, many bones. It's just all bones. All okay. bones. So many bones. Oh, God. Can you imagine if it was like snake bones? Have you seen snake bones? Like they look yeah. like these like, little jacks. Like picture yeah, just yeah. stepping on metal jacks. <laughs> like, or I don't know, snake bones. Or yeah. All right. I think there's a jar of snake bones in my closet right there now. There shouldn't be, though. There shouldn't be. There might be two jars. Just combine them. Make it one big jar at least. No, because they're two different snakes. Jesus Christ. Okay. It's You're... two different snakes. I don't... I don't... Just read the story, then. I, I don't... I've got nothing on you yet. You save snakes. Yeah. Anyway, uh, where was I here? Let's see... He wasn't listening to me anytime I told him I didn't want anything to do with him, so I hooked up with his roommate, and he finally got the message. Oof. Don't tell Hallmark about this. They'll get the wrong idea and think this is a love story for the ages. Uh, it is. It is a love story for the ages, okay? He's got the robes. He's got the bones. Yeah. Yeah, but here's the thing. Did she lead on and screw over his roommate? Yeah. She That's... slept with his roommate. Yeah, but like, was he just like, whatever, I love fucking hoes? Or was he like, wow, this girl really likes me? And then now his feelings are hurt. He probably knows she's a hoe. I would assume he knows she's a hoe. Yeah, but every man's fallen in love with a hoe for a little bit. Yeah. It yeah. Happen. It happens. Yeah, no, you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. That's well, the truth. <laughs> Can't turn a hoe into a housewife, as they say. Or, I fell in love with a stripper. She's my... No, I ain't Great saying song. she a gold digger. <laughs> but she ain't messing with the broke nigga. I'm yeah. sorry, I wasn't supposed to say that. You told me I wasn't allowed to say that. On well, it's on the clip now. It's on the clip now. <laughs> so that's going on to the, the Twitter. Sorry. Great song, though. Great song. It's weird. It is. Kanye's changed a lot. Um... It's like the I just don't know any of his newer stuff. So if I'm gonna say God, it's a very it's old not, song. It's a very it's old not, song. That's the era we're dealing with. It's with a good era. That's how I know Kanye. It was a good era. It was a good era for him. You know, now he's yay. He's mad. He's dressed all in leather and see, that's good. Leather's good. I mean, you would like his new outfits. It's stupid. He looks retarded. I've seen them. I don't like his wife's outfits. Oh, I like those. <laughs> <laughs> They're just so dumb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like, hey, look at me put post-it notes over my fucking nipples. I'm like, nice. 
Good job. It's not clothes. It's not clothes. It's not fashion. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really that hoping... is like Diogenes in the modern age is that woman and Kanye together. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Genius. She's like That's an architect. She's, doing. she's like an architect or something. I don't know. <laughs> what? I don't know. It's what fucking... Because she was a model. I t- it's not I mean, a freaking architect. Come on. That's what it says. She got like an architect or something. That's what it says. It's what the internet says. I don't know. I've never even heard her speak, but supposedly she's Australian. I don't think she can talk. Dude. I don't think Perfect. she can. I, yeah. Perfect woman. No, she's a. Uh, because, you know, Kim Kardashian, crazy hot. But she's getting up there now. You know, so um, the new is Bianca well, that's Sensori. Every, yeah, that's what everyone is uh, saying, though, that she's just like a younger, less uh, she doesn't manufactured really, version of Kim. I she, don't really know. She doesn't look anything like Kim Kardashian. Besides having big tits and a big butt, she doesn't look anything like Kim Kardashian. That's fucking stupid. I think they're just being racist. I don't even know. All I know is she's Australian. I don't know. And Kim Kardashian's, uh, aren't they? They're uh, Armenian. Do you think that woman is Australian ethnically? What do you mean? That's like saying that well, she's a, that she ta- uh, that Kim is American. Like, I don't know. She looks uh, she looks white. Like, just it's the exact same thing as saying Kim how? is American. No, it's because not. Because Australia Kim is... is Australia. Like an ethnic Australian is an Aborigine. They got a bunch of like types of people there. So what's an ethnic American? A Native American. What do you mean? Like, okay, we're talking about. Okay, so if you're talking about the Jesus founding Christ. stock of a nation state, then Nobody it would is. be the same as America. Okay, but I don't think Bianca looks very Anglo, personally. No, probably not. I don't know. That's what. That's a, all I'm saying. She had a lot of work. I'm done. saying that Australian means nothing because she does not look Anglo. She's got an Australian accent, so which means when she talks, I'll bet it's super annoying. So I'm glad she didn't fucking talk. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! They do sound really stupid. Marcos like they just sound like the they're petru. not smart. Oh no! Fuck them! I hate Australians. Oh no! I hate them. Piece of There's shit. There's a song I really like. Uh, it's called Smoko by an Australian band. Yeah, that the name. The thing on Smoko. Sounds fucking Australian as shit because they're like, oh, that's, oh no, we're out of Smoko. Let's go to Macca's. Hey, it's hey. about, it's about uh, going on Smoko. So apparently, if you smoke cigarettes, you could just go on breaks whenever you want. So it's a song about how everybody's always on Smoko. Yeah, that's, they just, they're retorted because they just add things to the end of it the, where they're like, oh, Smoko, Petties, Macca's. Like, oh, like they talk like fucking kids. But like retarded kids, gay retarded kids. Hey, that's what they are. Yeah, I hate them. How much? I thought that like Canadians had the silliest thing. We're like, hey, bud, how are you? Can I get a dart? Ah, blah blah blah. Right? I'm not doing the accents right. I got headphones on. Can't hear myself. But it's the Australians are so much worse. The Australians are so much worse. It's gross. Honestly, it's like a it's an ugly people accent. Dude. Like it just makes you uglier. Yeah, I just, I can't imagine. Oh, yeah. Your big dickery do. Like, I, why would, how could you fuck somebody like that? I, I don't know. I also feel the same about Canadians, though, because, like, that's just ridiculous. Like, you want to make fun of a Canadian. Yeah. I mean, the one thing that I like about Canadians that I, I, I picked up from just watching Letterkenny is I'll end sentences a lot with bud sometimes when I'm bud. streaming. I'd be like, all right, bud. Listen, bud. That makes no sense. That is good, though. <laughs> Listen, bud. That makes no fucking sense. Uh, that's and I just that that's just, sounded Canadian. What you just did? Yeah, fuck yeah, bud. That I. Uh, that's all from fucking right Letter Kenny, though. That's that's a great show, and I just started watching that a bunch. So I just started saying bud all the time. And Trailer Park Boys, obviously. Canada has made two great shows and countless great artists. Uh, but two great sitcoms ever, and it's Letterkenny and, and Trailer Park Boys. 
Uh, I guess I should watch Trailer Park Boys. My husband really likes okay. Trailer Park Boys, but I've never, I don't think I've ever sat and watched it. it it's okay. You kind of have to get into it. Uh, and if you like it, you like it. If not, you don't like it. Um, but Letter Kenny is some of the most brilliant fucking writing. It's just really quippy and very funny. Wonderful. Uh, How much time do we have left? Uh, we have 20 seconds. Oh wow, that's amazing! I could probably filibuster for twenty seconds. <laughs> that's what you—that's what you like to do. See, no. one thing I like about fucking letter counting, um, the writing is so damn good. Is uh, uh, Erica made fun of me uh, for this because it's a letter counting bit that people from uh, from L.A., Los Angeles, people that live in L.A., Los Angeles, say L.A. is L.A. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. I always like when I go to L.A. or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't even think that I fucking do that shit. But every time LA. I say L.A., there's a difference between L.A. and L.A. And they point that out, and it's a great thing. And if you live in L.A. long enough, you do say L.A. That's fair. It's also funny. I'm not... It's okay, say the two sounds again. L.A. Well, I can't do it right. So I apparently say it's stupid. So I also can't say penny. Okay, so I say it as if there are letters. Yes. L-A. And you're saying that the LA. people who live there say it like it's a word. L, like they're saying L-A. -A. L-A. Okay. L-A. I see. L-A. Like it's E-L-L-A. You can't say LA. penny? Apparently not. I think I can't hear it. Penny. P penny. Penny. Penny is how I say it, but that's not how you say it. It's supposed to be penny. Penny, penny, but nobody says penny. That's nobody, what I no, say. Nobody, nobody in the, says it. The, the American South says penny. Like exactly. That's, an, that's like maybe an English person does. Like, I don't know, man. Yeah. You no, say but, penny. Yeah, penny. Like a hick. D apparently. And that's the only part of my fucking accent that I haven't lost. But Erica makes fun of me for it. She thinks I say it weird. I say things weird all the time. I have... I spent six years doing a lot of like choir competitions and stuff, and they coach you to sound British when you sing, basically, because it's like a, it flows better and it's more clear and understandable uh, for like choral type music. And then I also watched a shit ton of BBC stuff, like Doctor Who and uh, oh. Red Dwarf oh, and wait. Robin Hood. Give her BBC. <laughs> Okay, no, British Broadcasting Channel. Okay, BBC America. That's what I was watching. And then, uh, well, no, so no, no, I. No, 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 no. Like, Mexican steals American, I think. <laughs> so I, um, so I say certain things weird just because I literally had to sing them that way. And like, like words that you don't say in conversation very often, but might have been in a song. I say like an English person. And then my grandma was a Michigander. And so uh, certain things I say, like I'm from freaking Michigan. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway. before we wrap up the worst, the, the worst accent in the entire world, I'm sure I have I told you about chicken salad. Maybe it sounds I, familiar. I'm sure I've said it on the show. I'll, maybe I haven't. Maybe I have chicken salad. The, the girl that I went on a date on, uh, when I was in, uh, Wisconsin and, uh, I knew that, I could never see her again because we went out to eat and uh, she ordered chicken salad and chicken salad. And I was like, that's, that's what I knew. Salad. She was very nice. She was very nice. And yeah, all that sweet girl. It. But I, I like, I had this moment where I was like, I, I can't hear that for the rest of my life. So like, that's cause salad. It's obnoxious. No, oh, it's, it's gross. It's not attractive. It's, she was, she was it's, a very nice like, girl. I hope she's doing well, but it, she talks with, like a jackass. And with the men, it's like, it's not masculine. I don't know. Something oh, yeah. about it you is guys, just a problem. You, you guys know? come here once to have a paps. It's, yeah. It's <laughs> the, Minnesota. That is, that is someone's dad or uncle or grandpa. That is not a man. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. You get, you get too up north and in those areas, and they either start speaking fucking Muslim or saying chicken salad. Yeah. So, what, okay, a weird, what a weird cl clash of groups to have in Minnesota, though. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it makes kind of sense. I, 
well, I don't know. It's cold, but like you just got it's cold. You got these two groups. You got like the whitest people in the entire world before you reach Canada, and then mm-hmm. you got a bunch of Muslims. I bet there's some really funny like uh, scrubs type relationships going on there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Subscribe to the Patreon. Yeah, because we're out of time, and we'll talk about that on the Patreon, maybe. But we're also talking about that eclipse for sure. That is patreon.com slash here to help podcast. Everybody, we're out of time, but we love you very much and we appreciate you very much. And we would really appreciate your patronage. Brighton, do you have any plugs? Uh, kick.com slash Brighton Proctor. Um, I think that's it for now. Mm, you can find me on Twitter at Octo Abbey with an I. You can DM me, dear Abbeys, or find me on Curious Cat. There's also a Discord server. You could join it from the links in the description here and uh, just kind of tag me in the landing pad so I can give you your role and you can ask dear Abby questions there as well. Thank you everyone for listening and have a great week secure in the knowledge that we are with you. We're the only ones you can trust are here to help you through this eclipse. Jesus, you made it longer. <laughs>